A lot of the conflicts, memory conflicts today and in the past had a religious dimension. So religion is very often part of memory contests between groups, even though religion is not always at the center of memory conflicts. So to understand the meaning of uh, memory conflicts or the rituals that are involved in uh, commemorations, for example, we need to know about their religious basis or their use of symbols or rituals, the, the role of beliefs in community building, for example, um, and be they secular or more properly religious. It is important to discuss uh, religion uh, in, within the memory studies because religion possesses traditionally the language, the particular language for memorization, for me memorialization, for memory, for uh, you know, commemoration of the dead, for uh, moral judgments about the past. So that's all is from the repertoire of religious, um, religious traditions, if you want, and religious practices. So they are and should be, and, in, and they are very helpful for communities uh, to be used in these um, questions. On the one hand, as the memory becomes more and more important for us, we should simply more make more and more research to better understand this phenomenon. But I think that we should also start to think about applied memory studies. Uh, memory studies today, main task is to really enlighten this kind of problems to the public because the public understands that the uh, questions of memory are very important. They go to museums, they go to exhibitions, they, they really are uh, consumers of these uh, memories which are produced from everywhere. But uh, I think that the researchers should make it clear how this uh, memory matters for the public, how, how, uh, which actors are doing this and which actors are engaged, which uh, politicize this um, kind of questions and uh, uh, so that public can be sensible to this.